okay so welcome back to this channel so in my previous video i have written the unit test for my service file for the book service and also for the auth service and now in this video we will write the unit test for our controller files uh, for the book controller and for the auth controller okay so first of all let's see how we can do that i simply go to my files and then I go in the book in the book i have this book.controller.ts so let's create here a new file with the name book dot controller dot spec dot ts in that we will write all the unit tests for this book controller okay and to save some time for this video i will simply use this book service dot spec dot ts and i will use this basic code from here okay just to save some time i simply copy that and i go back and paste that here okay so remember that here this time this we are using here the uh, auth controller okay here we need the book service which is the book service okay and then we don't need here model because we are not using the model in here we have simply injected the book service so we have we have a book service and now this is a controller we also need here our controller that is going to be book controller okay so that is going to be book controller like this okay and then we need here this book uh, mock book I will import the category I need here mock user and then I need here mock book service and then here I will simply type here testing module then test dot create testing module we will pass in here the um, book service and before that actually I will remove this part from here in the providers I simply have to pass the book service so provide here I will use book service okay and for the value I will use here like use value and this time the value is going to be mock book service which is this one okay so in the providers we simply have to pass in here a book service uh, and the value is going to be this mock book service and we also have to inject the controller so I will simply type here the controllers that is going to be uh, book controllers okay so we will simply add that and put in here comma so we have successfully also added the controllers and then the providers so now it will compile that and for compiling that we will get here the book service which is this one and then we also get here the book controller that is going to be module dot get um, I will simply paste that here that is going to be um, book controller which is this one simply save it and now we have here our book service and then the book controller all right so now if I go back the controller you can see that here let's see the code first of all we, we have injected the book service we also have our book service and book controller here now in this function we only have here one dependency which is the find all function uh, which is the function from this book service file okay so this time our mock service book contain is going to contain find all okay and I will use here just dot fn let's give here dot mock resolved mock resolved value once and I will pass in here the mock book okay so I have given the definition or the implementation uh, in the mock book service that find all which is this one okay which is the part of this book service is going to return a array of books okay so we have this find all here that we have injected right in here so now let's write our unit test first of all I will write the simple unit test that is going to be it should be defined okay and then I will simply type here that expect the book controller dot to be defined simply save it and now to run that I will simply type here npm run test and I will run it in the watch mode okay so I will run that and then um, I will simply type here p to filter out that is going to be book dot controller dot spec dot ts if I run it again 
so you can see that here we are running our test is passing here successfully that is should okay now we also have here um, error that auth guard in order to use the default strategy please ensure to import the password module in each place where we are using the auth guard okay so to resolve that oops so to resolve that i will simply go to the top um, right here for this controller i will use here imports array imports okay in that i will simply import the password module so passport module dot register okay now in the register i will simply pass in here the default strategy that is going to be jwt if i simply save it and run it again and now the error is resolved okay so now let's write our unit test for this um find all function which is this one get all books okay so i'll scroll down and let's type here describe and the name of the block is going to be get all books okay and then i will simply type here that it should get all books okay and that is going to be async and i will simply call here my function so result is going to be await the book controller dot get all books in that we have to pass in here the query so i will simply pass in here the keyword like test and i also pass in here the page like one like this okay save it and now i will simply expect that the book service dot find all dot to have been called and then i expect that the result should be equal to equal to the array of mock book okay now if i simply save it so you can see that the test is now passing here successfully okay remember that we already have given the fake implementation here uh, in the mock book service that find all will return this find all this one will is going to return an array of books which is the mock book okay so now uh, then we will simply expect that the book service dot find all to have been called we have to make sure that this uh, book service dot find all is called okay and then we also have to expect that this result should be equal to the array of books so our first test is passing successfully here for the get all books now let's write the second unit test for the um this create book okay so what i will do here is i'll simply go back i will simply um copy this from here and i paste that here so that is going to be create book now it should create a new book okay so now we need here new book object and i can get that from my service file so book dot service and if i simply expand this one i have here this new book so i will copy that and i put that here okay so now i have here the new book after that i will simply type here mock book service dot um, we also have to add here the create okay and that is going to be just dot fn okay we can also give the implementation here and also we can give that here okay so i will simply type here dot create is going to be just dot fn okay this is empty mock function dot mock resolve value once and in that i will simply pass in here the mock book okay we know that the create is going to create a book save that in database and give us back that book so now i will use here this book controller dot create book okay and in that we have to pass in here the a new book book and also we have to pass in here the mock user okay and we have to pass mock book as create book dto and mock user as user okay and that is dot dot okay 
so now we will simply expect that the book service dot create have been called okay and then the result to be equal to this mock book now if i run this okay so now the test is passing here successfully so we have successfully tested this create book so now uh, moving on next we have this um get book update book and then the delete book okay so i will simply go back and now um i will simply copy this from here and before that actually i go to the top um i type here after this create i will simply type here find by id that is going to be just dot fn dot mock resolved value once and i will pass in here the mock book okay so find by id i will return that and for the uh, update by id that is going to be empty empty um, mock function and then after that i will have my delete by id so delete by id so just dot fn dot mock resolve value once and it is going to return here deleted to true okay and we have we have passed all the functions here now let's go back and write our unit test okay so i will actually copy this from here okay i will close this one this one and then after that i will simply type here this that is going to be get book by id okay so it should get uh, a book by id okay and i will simply call here dot get book and in that i will simply have to pass here the id so that is going to be mock book dot id okay and now we expect that dot uh, find by id the book service dot find by id to have been called and the result should be equal to this mock book okay if i simply save it from here and now the test is passing here successfully moving on next we have this find by id and update okay i will paste that here so the function name is going to be update book and i will type here it should update book by its id okay so now we need here if i go to the service file to save some time i will scroll down and i will need here these two fields copy that and i paste that here okay so now i will give the fake implementation to the um if i go back i have to give here the fake implementation to this update by id okay so i will simply type here um mock book service dot update by id is equal to just dot fn dot mock resolve value once and it is going to return the uh, updated book so i will simply pass that here okay with the updated title okay and then after that we simply have to uh, call here the function that is going to be book controller dot update book and that we will simply pass in here the book id and then we have to pass in here the body which is going to be book okay as update book dto okay and then we will simply expect that the update by id have been called then we simply expect that it should be equal to the updated book okay if i simply save it and now the test should pass you can see that now the test is passing here okay and after that we have the delete book so i will simply close this from here and i copy this function copy that close that and i put that here okay and that is going to be delete book it should delete a book by id okay and then i will simply call in here dot delete book pass in here the id and expect that delete by id to have been called and then the result to be equal to here deleted to true simply save it and now the test should pass uh, if it is failing 
so that is deleted save it and now you can see that the test is passing here successfully so now we have written the unit test for all the uh, functions of this controller file I hope that you understand now let's write the unit test for the uh, auth controller okay so I simply close this from here then I go to the uh, source auth and this, this is the auth.controller.ts that contain only two functions so I will simply create here a new file with the name auth dot controller dot spec dot ts okay so I will simply um, oops copy this from here just to save some time so I will copy this part copy that and I put that here okay so here first of all that is going to be um, oops that is the book controller not auth controller okay so that is going to be auth controller and then we need here the controller and then the service so that is auth service and then the auth controller so auth service and then the auth controller I will remove this from here I also will remove this part okay and then I don't need here this mock book I need here the mock user I think so let's also type here let JWT token I think so we also need that that is going to be JWT token and then for the mock book service I need here only two functions one is going to be sign up and one is going to be login okay so mock resolve value that is going to return a JWT token like this and the same way we have here login so it is pretty simple if I go back you can see that here it will also return a token and will also return a token okay and now after that this is the mock auth service okay and then we will simply pass in here I will remove this from here in the controllers I will pass auth controller and the providers I will pass here auth service and then the mock auth service like this so that is going to be auth service auth service then we have here auth controller in the same way we have the auth controller so auth controller dot to be defined save it and i think so now the all issues are resolved save it and now if i simply filter the file type here w then p that is going to be auth dot controller dot spec dot ts so now it should be defined now auth controller is working properly now let's write our both unit test for the sign up and for the login. So after that I will simply type here describe. Okay. And that is for the sign up. Okay. I pause here callback function then it should register a new user. Okay. And then I will simply need here the sign up DTO. So I will go back in the auth dot service spectre service dot ts and I will simply um, copy this from here and I paste that here so I need here this sign up DTO and then I will simply cons result I will call my controller so auth controller dot sign up in that we have to pass in here the sign up DTO so I will pass in here sign up DTO and now that is also going to be a sync then I will simply expect that auth service dot sign up dot to have been called and then expect that result dot to equal to the JWT token save it and now the test is passing here successfully in the same way I have the 
login so i will copy that and i paste that here so that is going to be login so it should login the user okay so now i need here login details so that is going to be okay i don't need here the name so i will use here dot login that is going to be login dto and expect that the auth dot login dot to have been called and result to be equal to this jwt token if i save it and now the bot tests are passing here successfully so now we have successfully written the unit test for our both controller files the auth controller and then the book controller in my previous video i have written the unit test for both service files for the book service and for the auth service i hope that you understand so now we have written the all unit tests for our application you can also write unit tests for other files like we have here this jwt.strategy.ts here you can see that we only have here one function validated we have to write unit tests for this function here we have only two unit tests one is for this uh, if the US user is not in the database we will simply throw this and the second is the user I hope that you can write the both unit test for this validate function okay so now uh, in my next video I will write the E to E test for both auth and the book so you can find the source code in the description of this video and also if you have any question you can post that in the comment section I will try my best to respond there so I will see you in the next lecture in which we will write the E to E test